Hey guys, Fred here, F Math and Engineering. Welcome back. We are continuing along our linear algebra section, and we are going to do a question on linear mapping. Okay, so in linear mapping, um, essentially what you're doing is you're you're taking a I guess a function, uh, and you're you're kind of reducing it to a lower power or higher power or something like that. And um, you, in this section, you're going to encounter a lot of like confusing words and notations and stuff like that. And honestly, the best thing to do is just to ignore all of that and memorize how to do these questions, uh, because really, that's um, there's no need to really get to the base understanding of this kind of stuff. It's it's rather confusing, and you probably have six courses anyway. So the best thing to do is to memorize what this type of question is, and you're good to go. So that's what we're going to focus on here. So we have a question here. This is a, from a past exam, and it reads as follows. Consider the linear mapping L uh, colon P2 uh, into M2 of 2, so into a matrix. So uh, it's a linear mapping of uh, P2 into this matrix here, a 2 by 2 matrix, and it's defined by L of this uh, polynomial here, and that's equal to this matrix, okay? So that's all you need to know. Don't don't worry too much about what's going on here. I this is my opinion. I mean, this is how I, my colleagues and I got through this course. So uh, don't get too confused or too hung up with all these weird little notations here. They're not really that relevant. Determine whether y equals this matrix here is this two by two matrix is in the range of L. If it is, find W belongs to P two such that L of W equals y. Okay. So yeah, like what are they even asking? You know, in linear algebra, who knows? But uh, I'll show you exactly how to solve this in a really, really simple way. It's not hard at all. It just looks hard, okay? And I think that's what's daunting about linear algebra. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what are we going to do first? Well, okay, we have our matrix here with the, uh, the letter variables in it. And we have, and we're asked to determine whether Y is in the range of L, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to equate these two matrices to each other. That's our first step. So we're going to have A plus C, C, 0, and B plus C. And that's going to be equal to 2, 4, 0, and 3. Okay, And we're just going to create a system of uh, equations here. Okay, So we're going to equate each element of the matrix to the other element. Okay, So over here, we're going to say that A plus C is equal to 2. Okay, We're going to say that C is equal to 4. 0 is equal to 0, so that's nothing. And B plus C is equal to 3. Okay, so well, what do we what do we have here? We have a system of linear equations. Okay, and what we can do is we can solve this system of linear equations. Okay, so we have c is equal to four. So if we plug that in here, okay, I'll just do it up here. So we have a equals two minus four. So a is equal to negative two. Okay, perfect. And if we plug c into this bottom equation here, okay, we're going to have b equals three minus 4, so b is equal to negative 1. Okay, simple as that. Okay, so we're going to solve the system of equations. We're going to get what a, what b, and what c are. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, plug in these values into this matrix. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, if we plug in here, we're going to have, uh, what's our a value? Negative 2, c is 4, right? So that's going to be negative 2 plus 4, c is 4, this is still 0, and b is negative 1. Okay, and that will give us a matrix of 2, 4, 0, and 3. And as you can see, these matrices are the same, which means that the system is consistent, okay? So the system is consistent, therefore, we can conclude that y belongs to the range of L. Okay? We conclude that y belongs to matrix oops y belongs to the range of l okay and what is the second part of the question so if it is in the range of l we need to find the w belongs to P such that L of W equals Y. So all we need to do in this case, see this function here, L of a function, right? So this is our W here, right? Because L of W equals Y. This W here, all we need to do is take our coefficients from our linear equations here, this linear system of equations, and we just need to plug them in, okay? 
So we can say we can say that the element w, okay, which is the inner part of this function here, belongs to p2, okay, such that l of w equals y is Okay, and what's our w? Our w is this function here, and we're just going to plug in the, the values into this equation, or into this polynomial, and we're done. That's it. Okay, so we have negative 2 plus, what's our b? Negative 1. So we have negative x plus c is 4 for x squared. Okay, and that's it. Equals w. And uh, it's as simple as that, guys. Okay, so, you know, I know this... Um, I know it, like I said, it, it, it seems confusing, right? And, and the wording is very strange and the notations are strange and uh, it's not really something that you're going to use for the next like three or four years. So just mem memorize how to do it, memorize the, uh, the method and you'll just do fine on the exam. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.